So for the past two months, we've been building this fleet management system in Spring Boot. And remember, we use Timeleaf to do the template management and display data on a HTML page. So my idea now about React is that we're actually going to use this same application, but this time we are going to use React to build the user interface. In that way, we have a, con a continuous learning process. So this is the first class in case of React. We are trying to build a rich user interface application that is going to fetch data from this same application. We are going to continue building this application. That is fine. But we're also going to be learning React at the same time. So this will be your first React uh, application for absolute beginners. Um, assuming you don't have any knowledge of programming, you simply need to know a bit of HTML and a bit of CSS. So this application, we actually almost completed uh, building this application and it's really nice. Um, but uh, you can also follow it. If you have not been following it, please follow it. It's very easy. You have all the steps from step one to 45 right now and you can easily do it yourself. It's very, very easy. I recommend uh, you do it and it's based on Spring Boot, as you can see. So, but today we are going to be talking about uh, React and um, why should you learn React? React is very, very easy to learn and also is a, you can use it to build application very, very quickly because it provides a whole lot of libraries and codes for you to use. And the the need for React developers in the industry is very, very much at this time. So this tutorial is practical. I'm not going to be talking too much because all the steps you need for this tutorial is right here in my website. You can see, uh, you can see all the steps, step one, step two, and so on. So this will be about 10 minutes. We are going to set up our workspace. And from this workspace, we are going to set up right now, we continue building up this application. So don't skip this very lesson because this setup we are going to make is, is where we are going to be starting from. We are going to be adding more and more to it. So we have step one, we need actually to install Visual Studio Code and we also need to install Node.js. To install Node.js and Visual Studio Code, they are very easy. Look in the description box, you see how to install it. Simply go to, the, to Visual Studio Code, download and install. And also in case of Node.js, you simply go to Node.js uh, download and download it and simply install it. There is no uh, configuration needed. For me, I'm using Windows, so I use Windows installer, install node.js, install Visual Studio Code. Okay, so let's go back to the step-by-step. -step. So step one says download and install node.js, okay? Download and install Visual Studio Code, that is step two. Again, I want to remind you, if you are joining me for the first time, hit the subscribe button because once you subscribe, you don't miss any update because we are actually learning a whole lot in this uh, in this series of tutorials we make. So there is a way to work while learning, while we, are, while we are building the system, we are learning at the same time. So it's not a situation you spend your time learning some theories and later you start, you start applying it. We are actually working, building up a system and also learning at the same time. So what we are going to do now, we are going to create a local folder on our system. So I'm going to go to my uh, drive D. I've created a local folder I called React Project right here, you can see. So this local uh, folder is where I'm going to be storing all my React applications I built, okay? So I'm going to now open Visual Studio Code and I'm going to navigate to React project. So basically what you are going to do, you are going to go to file and say open workspace. Once you open workspace, you now uh, select the project, uh, the, the, the folder you created. And as you can see right here, it's in my drive D and it's called React project. And uh, in my drive D, you look for React project and simply select it and open it. And you can see right now, it's already open as you can see. So I'm not going to be opening it for the first time, for the second time. So one th interesting thing about React is that it's really very easy to work with. So you can see in maybe only two, two uh, commands, we are going to build the application. So we are going to create our first app, this step three. We are going to go to terminal. So normally when this terminal is closed, you have something like this. You simply go to terminal and say new terminal. You have new terminal and you can simply uh, write the command. The, now I'm in step two here. You write the command that says create uh, create re, um, mpx npx create react app. 
okay? Once you say this, you specify the name of the application you are building. In this case, React is going to um, build up the directory structure for you. So I'm going to call it first app. First app. You can name it anything, but for now, I recommend you follow strictly with the way I'm doing it. So um, let me see. So I'm going to press enter on the keyboard. And it takes a few seconds or even minutes to create this app for you. So what is going to happen, just like in Spring Boot, when you have a Spring Boot and you specify the dependencies in the pom.xml, it's going to download all these dependencies onto your class part. In this case, once you say npx create React app, it's also going to do the same thing. It's going to download all these dependencies into a folder. I'm going to explain to you about this fo this folder, and it's going to create all the directory structure for you. Create the 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 index page, the index uh, file, the, the, the app component, and a few other files, including the, the package.json and a whole lot of things. I'm going to be explaining to you after now. So let's wait for a couple of seconds while uh, it creates this application for us. So as you can see right now, the um, application have been created for us. So if you look at the directory structure here, you can see that we have this application first app. All right, now the instruction says in step three right now, that's what we are going to be following. It says, um, we are going to now uh, start this application. So I'm going to uh, go to the folder. I'm going to navigate by using CD and say first app. So we can now be inside this application folder. And the next thing we want to do is to start this application. And that is in step four. To start this application, we are going to use a command npm start. So npm means node package, ma uh, node package manager. So I'm going to say npm start. So what is going to happen is going to spin up this application and start running it on the default port 3 thousand and it's also going to open up the browser for us and this is what we are going to see so i've issued the command npm start and let us see all right so you can see that it's starting up the browser at this point and it's starting up internet explorer and if you look at this place it says starting up the development server so um, let's wait for a couple of seconds and you can see um Right, you can see that it starts up the development server, and this is actually our complete application. Remember, React is used to build SPA or single page applications, so you can actually play around on this page and get a complete application. Let me now show you what to do to change up things in this page, to add something in this page. Before we actually start doing something very serious like assessing data, I'm going to uh, first of all, congratulate you for creating your first node, uh, your first React application. And then this is a few exercises for you. Say, since you have a bit of knowledge of HTML and CSS, I recommend you do this, some of these things. One, change the background color to white. It's black right now. Change the color of the test to black. And change the test, this test here, I did SRC change it to welcome to react tutorial okay i want you to be smart so you need to figure out things yourself and also change the title of the page to learn react the title of the page here is react app i want you to change it to learn react now there are hints i'm giving you the hint is the color can be changed in the app the css file which is inside the public uh, the public src folder the content of the page can be changed from the app.js file and the title of the page can be changed uh, from the index.css file. So these files are easy to change. You actually have an application now and you can play around on it by adding some data. But before we move, up, we'll move on, let's now understand what actually is happening. What files are there? Because I've mentioned we have index, the, the HTML, app.css and so on. What are files that are there that you can actually modify to get what you want? So I'm going to go to the directory structure and I'm going to expand this node. I'm going to also expand the public, expand the SRC, okay? This basically gives us almost all the files we need to be working with a React, app, React application. And 
let me now start explaining some of them to you. I'll recommend you read up others by yourself. We have this directory called Node Modules. Node Modules is simply a folder containing dependencies, more like the side parts that contains the dependencies for an application. Then we have the public folder, it's like the website, where the web pages and the web components uh, stay, that is the public folder. So in this public folder, we have the index.html, right? So in this index.html, you can actually change the title from there. The index.html is the key page of the application. You only have one index.html. You don't have any other HTML files, just one index.html. And that's the interesting thing about React. You and you can actually be changing out thing, changing things in this index.html. So if I open index.html, and you can see right now it is open. Now you will generally not change anything in this page. That's a warning. Don't change anything in this page except you can actually change the title, right? So this page, this is the only HTML page you'll be using. However, you'll generally not change anything in this page because React is going to manage the content of this page. So we have the root, uh, the root component or the root uh, div, which is div having the attribute of root. That represents the content of the body of your HTML page. But you are not going to change it. I'm going to tell you what to do. We have the package.json. That is the package.json. We also have contains dependencies that and the scripts that are required for the application. Dependency definition, let's put it that way. Then we have the index.js. We have the index.js. Um, is it index.js? Let me see. Yeah, index.js is the starting point of React. Okay, it specifies the root component, which is the app component, and it also specifies the DOM element, which will be controlled by React. So this index.js specifies that the root element in the index.html page is going to be managed by React. Up the CSS, this you already know, it contains the styles that will style up the page. We also have index of CSS contains additional styles that are going to be applied to the body tag. Now, I want you to understand this very well. And I also want you to do these exercises I've marked here. I would like to thank you for viewing. Subscribe if you've not subscribed because we are going to be actually moving on fast and furious to be able to build this up, build this application, leveraging on the on the spring application we already built. So um, in the next part, we are actually going to now uh, make some changes, maybe try to understand the components in a React application. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.